hello twin flames welcome to my channel whether you're new or you're coming back if you're celebrating the holiday of thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to you guys i'm really excited to be here today we're doing a special thanksgiving reading and how is it special you may ask good question uh i am gonna pull some messages from the ancestors uh with my new deck it's the angels and ancestors oracle deck uh beautiful deck beautiful symbols and i feel like like in general thanksgiving is a lot about going back to the founders the fathers uh the pilgrims you know the ancestors who were here first who set the land who gave thanks for the first time as a ritual you know and it all carried on through generations and generations right so to me it's immediately uh, connected to the notion of ancestors and their wisdom and uh, being grateful for this journey for what they said for us and for how far we've come from then um, also it's like if you look at the contemporary setup for Thanksgiving again what do we do for Thanksgiving we get together with a family uh, whether it's your nuclear family or extended family it doesn't really matter but it's a family holiday it's again an opportunity to say thanks to think about people who matter to you who have done a lot to you who you're thankful for and this is a a good reason to share that with them right it, there shouldn't be a spe special reason but this definitely is one of them for those people who need reminding <laughs> so yes we're gonna start let me dive into the reading we're gonna start with ancestry messages for each of the twins and then we'll get on with tarot but this is going to be a freestyle reading so we'll see based on what we see from the ancestors the ancestors are guiding the reading today based on what we see from them we'll see what we need to know from tarot tarot is going to serve serve us as a clarifier today now i'm still getting to know this deck there's too many cards that fell out so i'm going to continue shuffling. still getting to know this deck but so far yeah it's been pretty spectacular from what I've seen and I did a couple of spreads for myself I'll do two cards one from the top one from the bottom of the deck and then uh yeah we'll see we'll read what the cards actually mean we have lady this is for divine feminines by the way <laughs> enjoy growth and reap rewards right so to me this is like that seven of pentacles card but this is like you've already done the, the planning, you've already sown the seeds or planted the seeds, sorry. Right now, it's time to enjoy the rewards. And bottom of the deck, the hunter, track down your fears and desires. Very different energies. This is a very masculine energy. The other one is a very feminine one, right? This is about action, track down fears and desires. But look at that. It's not just about attack something or someone, right? Like go for goals things like that like hunter i right? conquer no this is like recognize where your desires and passions are truly and where your fears are that you won't accomplish something or that you will do something that's not on your path or something like that right like or somebody will prevent you from going for your successes for your dreams right like recognize those and recognize whether your action is driven by your fears or by your passion they may look and sound similar but they aren't okay let's and let me do i got the high priest let me shuffle a little bit more for the masculines so top of the deck star ancestor follow the voice of your soul that's deep and then the bottom of the deck hermit retreat and recharge so the masses are back into the hermit mode they've been in hermit mode they went out for a while to integrate to see what the world looks like with this new information and now they're back in the hermit mode uh, okay let me see what i'm gonna read i'm gonna read lady for the feminines because i was the top card reap what you have sown and enjoy the fruits of your labor Grow and expand in all areas of your life. In the material sense, this card can represent financial security and comfort. It shows that there will be more than enough to go around. 
If you're making business deals or setting intentions to create financial goals, this card indicates a considerable amount of monetary success. The lady can also usher in other forms of abundance, opportunities, marriage proposals, and even the birth of a child. She will help you respect nature and connect with its forces in order to have a genuinely supported journey throughout life. Beautiful. And for the masculines, we're going to take a look at the star ancestor. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration has been coming your way recently. That has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. How beautiful that is. So this is a reminder that whatever your, wherever your soul is calling you, you are supposed to follow. And I also get that this hermit energy is for the masculine to also get their head around it. Right? Like there is this new energy, new ideas that are really exciting. But it's almost like for some it's too good to be true, for others it's just a lot to take in, right? Like it's it very it differs from the previous concept of success, happiness, and like life goals, so to speak, right? So it takes a moment to uh, wrap your head around this new plan or new ideas, right? And how much you actually are willing to invest into it, right? If it doesn't look like a successful endeavor. On, its, on the surface, right? Like we may be skeptical about pursuing that, especially if we do need to deal with like material world obligations, responsibilities, even taking care of ourselves, right? It's like, so how much am I really into it, right? To risk it, something along those lines. Okay, um, for the tarot, so for the feminines, I'm gonna take a look and get more information. What is it that you're supposed to uh, see the fruits of, right? Like, what is what is this thing that is coming around now where you can see results? And I'm also getting in the connection with the hunter card that you will see results if you open your heart to it, right? If there is any kind of blockage and the fear takes over, you'll your energy will scare it away, basically. So what's this success that's coming in? Okay, we got the Chariot and Knight of Cups. Wow. So it's about... It's quite an emotional journey I'm getting. And this is like um, being able to see the success and the progress more than anything else, right? And being happy about it, not as a point of like, wow, yeah, that was a painful one, or oh my god, it sucked so much energy out of me while I was on the journey. No, this is like a celebration moment, and this is a moment to recognize, again, we're talking Thanksgiving vibes today, right? To recognize who has been on this journey with you and how much they've helped you be who you are today, whether it's through negative or through a positive experience. That's an important part of this message. Very interesting. And that, in turn, is helping you in the material realm with whatever goals you have for yourself or for what you want to achieve, right? A chariot is that movement forward to success in a wider sense. But it all got ignited, ignited with the higher level of awareness in terms of feelings, emotions, trauma, and healing that trauma. Okay, for masculines, I'm going to ask what is... How do you recognize this passion? Okay, immediately we have three of cups. Anything else? Three of cups and two of swords. Oh, yeah, so how do you make a choice? How do you recognize where the passion lies? So first of all, you need to 
listen with your heart, right? So logic is not going to help you much here. Even the other way around, actually, right? But happiness, joy, uh, feeling like it's a celebration every day, right? Like you're not forcing yourself to do it, to go for it. It's not a routine. It's something that you're really excited about, right? That's the tell. That's where you will know. That's where your, your soul is calling you. Even if it seems foolish or it's not going to make a lot of money or, you know, you may need to sacrifice something else, right? Like those things, that's the Two of Swords energy. Those things may be uh, talking you out of this. Let's put it that way, right? But it's important to not go for those um, instincts and urges, right? And actually listen to that to, to the son of your heart i'm getting that's beautiful <laughs> and then with the hermit energy when you retreat and recharge yeah if in doubt if you're like two of swords a lot of times is like a stumbling block or the crossroads right where it's hard to decide so if it is hard to decide then that this advice comes in hand at hand the retreat and recharge right it means you just need to Come back to self or at least to ground yourself so that you can again hear the sound of your heart so it's not blocked by fear by pain by uh tiredness you know and lack of energy sorry guys had to fix an issue with my phone but i'm back and uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna see with tarot what is coming up what do the ancestors want to tell us about warn us about get us inspired about, right? What's around the corner? We'll get messages for each of the twins. And then I have the lights here, Tara with me, and I'll get some messages between the twins. <laughs> um, what's going on and how are, uh, how are the twins feeling and thinking about each other this day? Okay, so first of all, what's coming up for Divine Feminines watching? What's around the corner? What do we need to know about? We got Queen of Coins and the Moon. Ooh, the full moon is coming up on Monday, just in a few days from now. Uh, but yeah, the Queen of Coins is actually, to me, it's that lady card. Look at this. See something familiar, right? So we already read in the description of the card that um, the fruits of your labor are about to come in uh most likely it's gonna be something tangible so yeah this is like entrepreneur card or um the head of the household you know it's that kind of energy so embrace it live in it uh, remember it right find ways to get yourself into this energy of whether it's a wife and head of household or uh, a business partner i don't know a business owner right there may be somebody creative that's always like creating something in the material realm right that's also queen of coins whatever that is or your mother and wife right whatever is in the forefront of where your intentions and those seeds you've sown have been planted embrace that and get into this queen level energy queens are masters of the energy queens and kings right respectively since we're talking about the feminine energy very appropriate to be in a queen of coins energy and of course the moon is going to emphasize uh is going to provide new grounding for the feelings and emotions around it right it's a very good balance between water and earth uh element so yeah both of those are important right so like the factual information the tangible stuff you know, so feelings, emotions to wrap that in, right? To secure uh, that abundance in your life. What's coming up for the masculines? All right, all right. Uh, we have six of wands in reverse. Clarified by death. Oof. Yeah, so big transformation is coming in and it may feel like a defeat for a while. So this is more like a warning, I guess. Uh, the changes are so grand and it's almost like and I'm getting with this energy. It's like it may feel like you're starting from scratch. 
right? Like six of uh, wands upright is like the finish line, the success, right? Like I got it, I made it happen, I'm successful, I'm recognized, right? In reverse, it's like it feels like you're starting from scratch and the victory is very, very far away. It, it is an illusion uh, because big part of the journey is actually the transformation that's happening with the death card. And while we're still in the... Are we still in the Scorpio energy? Yeah, I guess we're kind of switching across to Sag, right? But before we do this Scorpio energy of death is finishing that transformation cycle, right? It's showing new belief systems, is getting us more or getting Divine Masculine is more prepared for making decisions based on uh, how certain um, people, places, things make them feel not necessarily what it looks like, not necessarily what makes logical sense or what friends and family are advising, right? That's a huge change in a belief system that's happening right now, right? And how do you switch to that on a regular basis so you don't have to kind of remind yourself every time, like, oh, by the way, by the way, yeah, I'm not supposed, like, yeah, I just had this conversation with a friend, a brother, a mother, somebody, right? And like usually, and I'm used to like listening to them, right? To following what they say. And now all of a sudden I'm supposed to make my own decisions and kind of ignore what they say, right? And it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's new. That's different. It will feel uncomfortable for a while. That's what I'm getting as well. But by masculines, you are there because you're ready to be there. And it's exciting time. That's what I can say. Okay, uh, speaking of exciting times, we have <laughs> 601 in upright here, but uh, anyway, how are feminines feeling towards masculines at this time? What are they thinking about? How do they see their masculines today at this special occasion, Thanksgiving vibration? Okay, let's see. Yeah, and Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, right, air energy, lots of thoughts and like remembering and wanting things to be good, right? It's like understanding that there is still a lot of work ahead, but wanting to kind of run off to the sunset to the good part, right? Like when do we get to that? A little bit of impatience, or a lot for some. Uh, but this is interesting because the Seven of Pentacles was that plant in the seeds card. Uh, and I actually even mentioned it when I was looking at the Lady Oracle card. So the feminines are seeing the masculines are doing the planting now, right? Like they are up to something and they are approaching it from a new perspective. So they are pleased, they are happy that uh, they see them maybe not necessarily at the same level of awareness and consciousness, but at least making, making better choices, right? Rethinking previous goals and... Uh, uh, mindset, right, towards success and what I want in life in general, because again, this is pentacle energy. So this is actual success in the physical, right? What are my goals? What am I striving for? So they can see that there is a lot of reconfiguration in that area on the masculine side. Again, there is some unknown and hence the Ten of Swords again. So it's like, oh, I don't know where that's going to take us. It's more like having faith right now that something magical is happening on the masculine side what do we have what how the masculines feel what they think about today when it comes to their divine feminine oh wow that's very interesting we have ace of wands and then drum roll please we have five of pentacles and ten of pentacles so it's special when it goes from five to ten in the same at the same point right so a inspiration and this um, ignition by the spark of the divine right it's that star um, what is it star ancestor that's uh, putting a spark in their soul in their mind like sending the message from the cosmos right and moving from just making money just wanting to like, kind of like do better have a title have a success have a business have a promotion, whatever those things were, like very finance-based, uh, maybe title-based for some, right? And moving from that to having goals around family 
around community, around being a worthy part of that community and, and leaving the legacy, right? Like, what am I going to leave after myself? How much wider that theme is, right? And that's where Divine Feminine comes to mind, right? Like, how much can we create together of that legacy and we can build for our family and for so many more people around us, right? Like, if we put our heads together, our skills together, our energy together, we can be unstoppable and we can do so much. We can change the world. It's that sort of idea today, right? And that becomes new treasure. That becomes gold as opposed to the bank account and some figures, right? And uh, trying to make quick like, money. And a lot of it, because this is a lack mentality, a lot of it is about either thinking that quantity will change the quality, will transform into quality, or for others, it's like, uh, I spoke about it yesterday, I think. It's about uh, cutting corners. It's finding shortcuts. It's sometimes deceiving and lying to kind of get ahead, right? To beat the competition or to get to the results faster. Uh, because that's what their mentality has been so far, right? Like that you have to be there. It's the lack mentality. Like you have to uh, be bold, right? And kind of like do extra stuff, right? But sometimes it's shady, but it's like, well, sometimes that's all we got to do, right? If we don't have resources just provided to us, just there, right? We have to work for them and we have to fight for them. That was the previous mentality. Now it's changing to this. And there is no fight here. There's no competition, right? You're creating and sharing with the family and with the community. That's, like I said, that's the treasure. That's the gold. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I love you all. And I'll be back with more readings very, very soon.